Welcome to the Generational Gamer. Today I am going to show you how to update the firmware on your retro USB. First, you download the scoreboard application, either for Mac or PC. I'm doing PC over a virtual machine so you can see how it's done because most people use PCs. And you download the firmware itself. Then you extract the zip file so you can get the executable. I'm moving it over so they're in the same folder. Then you open the executable. There it is. Then you go to upgrade firmware and you click on the upgrade firmware and it does its thing. Eventually, I am not changing the speeds here because I want you to see how long it takes. Getting there, getting there, getting there. Woohoo! It's done. Voila! So it has the newest firmware on there. Yay me. This program does allow you to dump your saves from your NES cartridges and upload them back to the cartridge. I don't use it because I think it's unreliable. So, now I'm going to check out the video options. The video options were a little bit different than they were before the update, but that's okay, you can change them back. I always use extra sprites, it reduces the flicker. I like the original color palette, but those are the options. And I always use interpolation. It prevents shimmer. And that's pretty much it. If you got some questions, leave them in the comments below. Have a good one. If you got this far, you probably like the video. Well, how about checking out some of these other ones? And if you like them too, please subscribe. Have a good one.